Hello everybody, Budly Neck here, and it's time for another Mods of the Week. This week's shout out goes out to Brandy Beeb, and that was the complimentary reimagined shaders that made the clouds look like that, and I agree, they do look beautiful. I'll go ahead and put a link in the description to the shaders if any of you guys want to try them out. During this video, you might notice that my voice sounds a little bit weird in some of the clips. That's because I've been sick for the past couple of weeks. We were down with the flu here. I'm feeling much better now, though. I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. But anyway, we have seven fantastic mods to go over. Let's get to them. Beautify is a vanilla plus decor mod that adds high quality and multifunctional new items to Minecraft. Starting with the lattice, they've added this in every single wood type, and then you can add flowers to decorate it even further. They've also added tooltips that you can use to see what flower types will work. And not only do the lattices look fantastic, you can also climb them like a ladder. It adds multiple new lamps and light sources that can all be placed on the ground or can be hung from the ceiling or from chains and rope. That's right, rope! Another item added by this mod that you can use to hang things from, similar to chains, and you can also climb it. And all of the lights added by this mod can be turned on or off in some way, a lot of them simply by right-clicking. This mod adds window blinds in every wood type that can be opened and closed. They've added hanging pots that can be bone mealed and sheared. You can place up to three glowstone dust in a glowstone essence lamp to adjust the amount of light that it produces. You can sneak right click the new book stacks to cycle through the different styles and these actually work with enchanting tables. They've added picture frames in every wood type, candelabras in every candle color, and a new workstation that you can use to get the new botanist villager that trades a lot of the new items that this mod adds. Everything that this mod adds to the game looks great, works like you want it to, and then some. Overall, this is just a really great mod. If you want to spice up your nether without giving it a total overhaul, Dirt's Nether Dungeons might be the mod for you. Along with the new structures and all the beautiful new blocks, this mod also adds a few more interesting features. Starting with the new metal, Tempered Gold. Tools made with this match the speed of gold with the durability of diamond, making this a pretty amazing pickaxe. If you want to make one, you're going to have to do some exploring though because this metal can only be made by piglins and they're not willing to trade it. So you're either going to have to take out a lot of piglin brutes and hope to get their axes, or you can find nuggets in chests in structures and dungeons. And while you're running around the nether looking for that tempered gold, you're likely to run into the new mob, the Baby Ghast. First of all, these things are adorable. Second of all, hurry up and tame it with, you guessed it, artichokes. A new plant and food that can be found in crimson forests. You have four minutes to tame a baby ghast from the moment that it sees you. After that, it turns into a regular ghast, and nobody wants a regular ghast. If you do manage to tame yourself a baby ghast, they'll give you the new player effect, vampirism, when they follow you. With the vampirism effect active, you get a heart of health back after every kill and this effect can stack up to three times, increasing the amount of health that you gain by half a heart for every level. There's a good chance you could also run into one of the new structures, the altar. And if you're lucky enough to get the right version, it'll have some magma lanterns. These are uncraftable lanterns that can only be found at altars, and you light them up by trapping a baby magma cube inside. Oh, and you do want to be careful if you try to pick these back up. Spirit Walker is a very simple mod that only adds a single item to the game. It adds the Potion of Spirit Walking that allows you to have an out-of-body experience. The base version allows you to detach from your body for 15 seconds with creative flight. But during this time, you can't place or break blocks or fight mobs. It's more just for observing or exploring. In fact, you don't even have your body. Remember that you've left your spiritless body behind so make sure you leave this in a safe location because in this state, it's an easy target for bad guys. Like most other potions in Minecraft, you can improve Spirit Walk in one of two ways. Using Redstone increases the duration to 30 seconds, or you can use Glowstone Dust and this will allow you to fly through objects while Spirit Walking, pretty much giving you 15 seconds of spectator camera. This gives an awesome new way to find caves or underground structures or even just to spy on your friends without being too overpowered. 
Sooty Chimneys adds four chimney variants that release smoke particles that are actually affected by wind direction and strength. With this mod, wind is heavier during rain and thunder and calmer in the evenings. You can toggle the smoke on and off by right-clicking the chimneys with an empty hand or by using a redstone signal. And smoking chimneys will slowly build up soot that you can scrape off with an axe, which will occasionally drop a black dye. Which means as long as you don't mind the air pollution, you could pretty easily throw some of these down and have an early game source of black dye. Toggle Item Frames is a very simple mod that allows you to change the visibility of item frames by sneak right-clicking it with an empty hand. You can also hold an item frame in your hand to make all nearby invisible item frames visible. Currently in vanilla Minecraft, you're already able to get invisible item frames using a command, but why not add a method like this mod does that opens it up to survival? It opens up so many decorating possibilities with such a simple addition. This is also just a server-side mod, so if you have this on your server, it will work for everyone that joins. Forgotten Graves is a highly customizable grave mod that has a pretty cool DK feature you won't find in other grave mods. First of all, if you've never seen or used a grave mod, they create a grave where you die that stores your items and XP, and usually you're the only one that can retrieve it. With this mod, graves visually decay over time, showing how long they've been there. And I think the coolest feature of this mod is that you can have the items that are stored in the grave decay and even destroyed based on how long it takes the player to retrieve it. By default, this is turned off, but I think this is a very cool feature that adds some realism and some urgency for you to find your grave. Some other nice features of this mod are that your graves will sink by default. So in other words, if you die midair or if you die on top of the water, your grave will spawn at the highest piece of solid ground below you. You can also craft graves for decoration and use the anvil to add text to the headstone. You can add levels of decay to your graves using mushrooms and vines, and you can remove decay using a shovel. And just like copper, you can stop the level of decay using honeycomb. And like I said at the beginning, this mod is very highly configurable. There are already a lot of really good grave mods out there. I just liked the idea of your items rotting away in your grave if you take too long to get them. Dark Mining Better Block Drops gives additional items while mining, and most of the added drops kind of make sense. For example, it's pretty common to find carrots or potatoes while digging dirt. But you might also occasionally find some iron and even less occasionally find some diamonds. And while digging sand, you can sometimes come across glass bottles and buckets, which are things that people might leave behind in sand. So it kind of makes sense. I'll go ahead and put up a table with all the drops added by the mod and their rarity according to the mods page. I love the idea of getting bonus drops while you're mining or digging and gathering resources, and I like that the mod developer has made an effort to make all the extra drops make sense. The only complaint I would currently have about the mod is that it seems like you get too many bonus drops, especially diamonds. I think by making the bonus drops a little more rare, you would get more excited when you see them. And that is all the time we have for this episode. I wanna thank you so much for watching. I need to give an extra big thank you to all my Patreon supporters. Their names are up on the screen right now. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. Keep playing. Keep having fun. We'll see you guys next time.